These are dark times, there is no denying. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Wal-Aqibatu Lil-Muttaqeen, Wal-Salatu Wal-Salamu Ala Sayyid Al-Habib Al-Mursaleen Muhammad, Wa Ala Alihi Wa Ashabihi Yajma'in, Wa Man Tabi'ahum Bi Ahsan Ila Yawm Al-Din, Amma Ba'd. Be respected brothers, sisters, listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. After praising Allah the Almighty and sending salutations on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I begin by confessing my weakness because justice will not be done of this title. I pray to the Almighty Allah that Allah accepts my efforts in delivering this message as I pray to the Almighty Allah that Allah accepts your efforts in listening to this message December 14th 1503 a kafira she gave birth to an antichrist the hadith that could be found in Musnad of Imam Ahmad the companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Wallahi, by Allah, the day of judgment will not come until 30 antichrists will appear and the final one will be the one-eyed liar. The hadith recorded by Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim in the Sahih. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu says that each one of them will claim to be a prophet of Allah. My brothers, many false prophets have come and gone. Whether it was Musaylama, whether it was Tulayha, whether it was Sajja, whether it was Saf, whether it was Abu Mansur, whether it was Rashid Khalifa, whether it was Muhammad ibn Sa'id, whether it was Ghulam Ahmad, whether it was Dr. York, whether it was Jasmine, whether it was Mahmoud Al-Faraj, whether it was Mukhtar, and the one France gave birth to was none other than Nostradamus, born on the 14th of December, 1503. And if you remember, he made the media big time. Why? Because his prediction that the world is going to end on a certain day. He made the media big time. He made the newspapers big time. He made the radio stations big time. He made the magazines big time. Everyone around the world who was interested in Nostradamus started to believe in his predictions. And this very prediction that the world is going to end. Muslims and non-Muslims alike, they started to believe in this to such an extent that people stop preparing for their death. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. You will see the very Muslims of that time when on that night where there was lightning, there was thunder, and all of a sudden, the Muslims, the Muslims, they started to believe that the hour has come. 
you had the millennium. Yet again, Muslims and non-Muslims alike, they started to believe that the hour is going to take place on the turn of the millennium to such an extent to those people who do not believe in Allah and his messenger. These people, they left their homes and they migrated to Palestine. Why? Because they wanted to witness as they believed that the turn of the millennium will bring with it Isa alayhi salam and the hour will take place. It rocked the imams of those weak Muslims and they started to believe in this. You have the new movie that's just come out this year, 2012. Yet again, Muslims and non-Muslims, and especially the Muslims, they are on forums sending text messages. Why? They are warning other people that the hour will take place on 2012. In spite of the verses of the Quran, where Allah says, O oh Muhammad, they ask you regarding the hour. Tell them, its knowledge is only with the Almighty Allah. Yet again, Allah says, O oh Muhammad, they ask you regarding the hour. Tell them, there is not the business of any prophet to tell them its timing. Why? Because no prophet knows when Qiyamah will take place. But in spite of these verses of the Quran, people have fallen in the trap. And they are believing that people and Nostradamus knows when the hour will take place. But bear in mind, he sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, the five things are only with the Almighty Allah and he will remain with the Almighty Allah. And out of the five is the hour. And bear in mind, no Nostradamus, no Dr. York, no Mukhtar, no Rashid Khalifa, no Musaylama, no Sajja, no Saf, no Abu Mansur knows when the hour will take place. Why? Because this knowledge is only with the Almighty Allah. But one thing is for certain that the hour is near. Allah says, what do you know? Perhaps the hour is near. Yet again, Allah says, the day of reckoning draws close. Yet again, Allah says, Qiyamah has come close and the moon has split. But in spite of these constant reminders of the Quran, you and I, we live a life of disobedience. We live a life of sin. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that the day of judgment will not take place until a mother, she will give birth to a master. The hadith is in Muslim. Isn't this the case today? What do you find? You find the son and the daughter when their mother has carried them in her stomach for nine months. And when this child is born and he reaches a mature age, the Muslims, they have gone to such an extent that they will call their own mother a dog to such an extent that they will try to beat their own mother. How truthful is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa He sallallahu alayhi wa said, the hour will not take place until killing, killing, killing will be on the increase. The hadith is in Bukhari. Isn't this the case today? He sallallahu alayhi wa said that the day of judgment will not come until children of fornication will be big in number, will be large in number. The hadith is in Tabrani. Isn't this the case today? He sallallahu alayhi wa said 
that the day of judgment will not take place until trust becomes the means of making profit. Isn't this the case today? Just as a brother rented his house out to a certain person and he trusted this person. The guy told him, don't come to my house because my wife covers up. I will meet you in the local park. So the brother agreed. And when the brother agreed, time passes, months went by. The payment was on time. But one day, the payment didn't come through. So he tried his utmost best to get in contact with this guy. But what happened? There was no contact with him. So this brother went down his house, his own house that he was renting out. And when he went to his house, you know what did he see? He seen his house was transformed into a marijuana factory. How truthful is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam? The hadith is in Tirmizi. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, the day of judgment will not come until earthquakes will be on the increase. The hadith is in Bukhari. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, the day of judgment will not come until singing women, dancing women, musical instruments will be on the increase and will become popular. The hadith is in Tirmizi. Isn't this the case today? He sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that the day of judgment, it will not come until people will follow the Quran and they will reject the hadith. The hadith is in Abu Dawood. Isn't this the case today? Because when you meet these brothers who only follow the Quran and they say, we don't believe in no hadith. There's no such thing as a hadith. And you tell them to offer the Salah. They will say, prove it to me from the Quran. Where does it say you read your Salah? How do you perform it? You know, Salah in the Quran is referring to horse racing. We don't believe in Salah. We're not going to pray Salah. This Salah where Allah is mentioning over 76 times. Over 76 times. These brothers are saying that we don't believe in the Quran regarding Salah. This means horse racing. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the day of judgment will not come until you will see people. They will disobey their mothers in such a manner that they have never ever been disobeyed. But in spite of these constant reminders, in spite of these minor signs, you and I, we still live a life of disobedience. We live a life of sin. And when the people are told that repent before it's too late, they make a joking. They make a joke out of it. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said 